hello and welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I'm bringing you a tag video. This is made by one of my beautiful friends here on YouTube, Alisa Lobotomy. She created this on the 15th of November 2018. I cannot believe how time has flown. I somehow missed this and I figured it's never too late. Let's uh, let's do it. I've just rewatched the video and it's good. I like it. Um, I'll have a link below. You should definitely check it out. The, her tag is called the bad and the boring. And who doesn't like hearing about like people's makeup that they don't like? <laughs> She's got 10 questions, so let's kick right in. A foundation finish you don't like. It's this one. I think most stick, this put me off all stick foundations. The Hourglass Vanish stick. It just gets so oily on me. It is a perfect match for my skin, or it was when I bought it. So I keep it around if I'm only going to be wearing my makeup for like an hour max. Uh, it just, it doesn't hold up. It's just so creamy. So, you know, I think if you're a dry person, you probably would like that one. The worst mascara you've ever tried. I have done a mascara declutter on my channel and that showed all the mascaras that I own and have gotten rid of. I've still got like eight, I think. No problem. Uh, but the worst one is going to be the benefit one because I kept poking my, myself in the eye with it. I can't. The Benefit They're Real Mascara. It's beautiful, it looks great. Man, I just, I couldn't stop poking myself in the eye. After the third time of doing it, I was like, I'm done. No more. One thing you tried once and then throw away. Hmm. I have a real problem with throwing any of my makeup away, even if I don't like it. Yeah, I don't think I really throw much away at all. I think I've thrown away an elf liner once, like it was cheap and it just, I put it on and it sucked. And the most boring eyeshadow palette you own. Uh, so from the collection that is right next to me, I pulled out some of the boring eyeshadow palettes that I have. Starting out we got the Shan XO, the remix, we've got NARS Sarah Moon, the Smashbox Matte Shadow, the Tarte Tease Shadow. Still, Eyes of a Window, Soul Palette, MAC Mischief, <laughs> MAC Mischief Minx. The one that makes me a bit sad to think is so boring now, the Naked Heat. Those are some of my most boring palettes. Uh, I have more, but those are the ones I thought I'd just show you now. I still like them all. Uh, I definitely need to use them all a bit more, but I'm, you know, that's cool. Uh, makeup trend you think is boring and want to go away. I really want Facetune to go away. I think people are using it to such an extent now where you're not seeing the like actually what they're doing, and I think it hides a lot of shit. Uh, I just don't think I'm I'm not into it. I think it should go away. The worst liquid lipstick you've tried, and this is you know me demonstrating that I can't throw shit away. I hate this formula so bad. The Too Faced Melted Latex. This was on special at Mecca here for a long time. I bought it when it wasn't on special uh, because I got my makeup done and the girl put it on it and I loved the look. But it's sticky. It's gross. It doesn't wear well. It's just a bit shit. Um, I don't know how this survived my lipstick declutter, but it, it did. Which colour do you think is the most boring one? I think like brown can be boring, but brown also has a lot of d dimension. I think one of the most boring colours is, and this is going to be a little controversial. So this is one of my Enchanted Lustre singles, and this is Myth Prism. It's a nice super cute little packet. But it looks so pretty like this. And I have worn this, I like it, it's nice. But in certain shades it's like a poo brown. And it's just not like cute. I think, so for me, I think multi-chrome can look absolutely amazing in real life. It doesn't photograph well. And sometimes it shifts to colours that you aren't really into. And I, I have just bought stuff because it, it is this shift. I mean, how stupid is that? What brand do you think coming out with the most boring things? You know what? Colourpop just hasn't gotten me lately. I do want those new singles, but their palettes, I don't know, it just doesn't seem very inspired. I remember being so excited when Yes Please came out, and I know Just My Luck came out, and uh, like a lot of the people I watch are loving that palette, the green one, 
but I don't know. I think after I bought the It's My Pleasure palette, and it's, it's like, it's nice. It's just, you know, I think the amount that they're releasing has finally got to a point where I'm, I'm just not like that into the brand anymore. Uh, but I think if I was going to definitely say like the most boring brand I can think of, it's, it's Tarte. But man, that's some reliable browns. Which step in your makeup brown routine is the most boring one? I, I would say my brows. I think I could put more effort into them and I probably should, but I don't know. I like, I pay, I get them waxed at benefit. That costs me a lot of money and I'm kind of like, okay with what they like. So yeah, I think my brows, I like that to be like the least amount of work possible. If you had to choose between a good base and a bad eye look or a bad base and good eye look, which would you choose? Good eye look any day. No one really cares what your base looks like unless they're super into makeup and super into the foundation you're wearing. No one in the real world is like, ooh, that foundation looks terrible on you. They're mostly like, hey, you're wearing makeup. It looks really pretty. And then, yeah. I mean, maybe some people are mean, but I like to think people aren't mean. Anyway, this is the tag. Thank you so much, Lisa, for doing this tag, uh, creating it. I thought it was really good. Uh, if you are a creator watching this, I tag you. And if you don't make videos, chuck it down in the comments, uh, some of the products you've come across that might fit into any of these categories. I'd absolutely love to know what you think. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.